Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about getting started with Bootstrap. So for my server, I'm using XAMPP and let's get started with Bootstrap. So I've already opened getbootstrap.com and here you see a get started button. Click on it and here we go. Before moving here, I'll just show you my alignment for the folder and it's like you go to XAMPP new first. For me, it's XAMPP new. For, it, for you, it must be XAMPP if you haven't renamed your folder. Then htdocs. And here I've created a folder bootstrap. You can create it by any name. And inside that, I have my file labs var onehtml which is here. OK, so now going back to bootstrap. So here you can see that inside the get started, I have the CSS link for the bootstrap. They provided us with that. They provided us with JavaScript, jQuery code, uh, not code, but the source, the link, right? And there is a starter template that they have provided us. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is copy it and paste it here. So once I've done that, let's see what happens. localhost colon bootstrap instead of bootstrap i have made some mistake and it's bootstrap yes it is working so for now let me tell you what is what inside there so we have a meta tag what meta tag is used for is it makes your page responsive so when you open this website inside your mobile it works really well like it's responsive and it works nicely what is this? This is your link to bootstrap CSS and then this is your jQuery or JavaScript. Links that I'm going to tell you what are their function once we reach there. OK, so I'll just remove H1 for now and go back here. So yes, we have copied the getting started temp template and now I'll go to components. Inside the components, you see there are many components, alert, patch, breadcrumb, buttons, etc. You can see how alerts look and but for this video I'm going to talk about is navbar. Why? Well, because navbar is something you will see in most of the websites. You can see in bootstrap itself they have a navbar here. So let's see how navbar works. There is a lot of a lot of things given here which you can read and go through. I'm just going to go to the code area and tell you about it. So you can see here is a nav bar with search and all these links and see when I hover it how it gets brightened up. There's a nav bar brand and there's one disabled one also. How did they disable it? So they have done is area disabled equal to true, which makes this link disabled, but there's a class disabled too. So what is the use of this class here? So this class is already defined in your bootstrap. And what it does is, as you can see, when I hover over this link or this drop down, it brightens up. But when I hover over this disabled link, nothing happens. So this is what your disabled class is doing. So I'm just going to copy this code. But before I paste it there, let's go down and look look like the other nav bars, how they are. So there is one with nav bar brand, like nav bar brand only. And then there's one with image. There's one with image and the brand name. Then there's one like simple one without the search box. And there are many. So you can explore more. And as you explore, you will learn more and more. So let's go back to our code area and paste it. I'm going to save it here. You can see navbar light, background light, and everything here. There are a lot of classes used here. Navbar brand tells like they all have what they have is some CSS defined for them. Navbar brand makes the uh, brand area like more like it should st it stands out differently from the other links given. So the size would be a little bigger, the it would be a little more bold and something like that would be there. So let's go back to our website and Yes, I have saved it right. and then I'm just going to refresh. 
and we have our nap bar here with the search and everything. Remember how I told you about what is the use of JavaScript and jQuery? I'm going to talk about it later. Let me show you what is the use. So when I shrink it, you see how it becomes like this into a button. Everything else disappears and a button, button comes. Now this button and everything is happening because our website is responsive. So that is the meta tag helping us there. And when I click on this, you can see our drop down here. Now how am I getting that drop down is JavaScript and jQuery and everything which is helping us here. If I remove it and save it, go back here, refresh and click on it, nothing happens. So this is what you need your JavaScript and everything else here for. Right. In this video, as you can see, I've covered mostly about the nav bar. Before I end it, let me show you something. See, I've used nav bar light and background light. Let's see what happens when I change it to dark. I personally love nav bar dark and background dark. So I'm going to change it to that and save. I'm just going to refresh it. And you can see how the nav bar is now a dark nav bar. Everything else is the same. OK, so over here you can see many classes of navbar are there, navbar MR auto. What does this do? OK, so it aligns. So we have everything here under MR auto inside this UL tag. So what is it, this doing is it is. Aligning your links to the left for you it's left right but for the computer it's right so mr auto okay and then there's a form tag which is your search button there so this is your search area the form tag so this is very pretty much all about the nav bar and i will try to cover more and more components in my give in my upcoming videos so keep watching them I'm going to create a playlist for you all. OK. And if you're wondering somehow if I didn't mention it, this call an 8080 for me and for you, it might only be localhost slash bootstrap slash whatever the name it is. Um, now I have call an 8080 because I have changed the default port to 8080. So if your port is default, there is no need to mention anything here. Just write localhost slash your folder name slash the file name. Right, and if you want to change your default port to something else, I have a video. I will give the link on the top there and I will also give it in the description box. You can go and check that out. So this is for now. This is it. So thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.